Hey guys, it's Kristen and welcome to my page, Leo and her cubs. Uh, this is one of my cubs. Can you say hi? Hi. What's your name? My name. How old are you? I'm three. You're three. Show three fingers. Wait, that's five. <laughs> anyway, before we get into today's review video, please hit that like and subscribe button. Yeah, the subscribe button. Yep, the subscribe button. And let's get right into it. All right, can you go over there, Pooh? I am unboxing, putting together, and reviewing my Delta Children Hercules stroller wagon. I got this from Amazon, and I will absolutely leave the link in the description box below. Um, we have a stroller, a double stroller, and I put it on my registry because I'm thinking, oh, two little kids, I'm going to need a double stroller. But what ended up happening was my son, as you can still hear and see, he outgrew the stroller way faster than expected. And so... I needed something bigger, so I got this wagon. So let's unbox this and see what's inside. So inside the box, you get the wagon, the canopy, the seat pad, two cup holders, and a cup holder tray for the kids. The canopy has a brown leather trim that matches the handlebars. The canopy has two mesh sides that are perfect for keeping bugs out of the way and it also comes with a loop and a toggle. The other two sides of the canopy are for keeping the sun out and it also comes with a toggle and a loop. It comes with two cup holders that go on the left side of the handlebars for the parents. And this bottle is just for size reference. It can hold an adult size water bottle. The kids tray goes across and it has space for a tablet or snacks and two cup holders. This is the seat pad for the kids. That is the buckle with that brown trim for the three point harness that just goes around the legs of the kids. It's pretty soft. Underneath is where you're going to find your Velcro that you're going to need to attach the seat pad to the base of the wagon. There are six pieces of Velcro that you're gonna need to attach the seat pad to the wagon. To open your wagon, you're going to need to unhook the latch and just open it. And there is a piece in the center, just press down until you hear it click. This is the inside of the wagon without the seat pad. As you can see, there are the six points of Velcro for you to connect it and also the two seat belt parts that will connect to the third part that is on the seating pad. There are two buttons on either side of the wagon and these are used to connect the kids cup and snack tray across the center of the wagon. You're going to use this guy to slide on the canopy just like so and you repeat on all four sides. And this is the final product, everything put together. The guide for the cup holder can be found on the left side of both handlebars. You just slide it on just like you did the canopy. To adjust the handlebars, make sure you press both buttons in at the same time and pull the handlebars up and toward you. So 
storage containers on this side are a pretty decent size. Two, the two on the ends have Velcro and the one in the center is open. As you can see, it is big enough for a full pack of wipes. To keep the canopy shade stationary, use the loops and toggles to tie them around the base. When the shades are out of use, they can be rolled up and stored underneath the top of the canopy. to fold the handlebars down you just press in and you'll need to press the center button and raise the handlebar so that you can fold it when I was doing this I noticed that it was difficult and the handle didn't stay so that I had to hold the handle on the left side and then pull up the center string to get the wagon to close and then you just fold down the clip and lock it in place. Here we are out at the park taking our stroller wagon out for a test spin. It was a pretty windy day um, and I, you could see I was having some trouble controlling the wagon. When we tested it at home on the carpet, my husband said that it was easier for him to maneuver the wagon with the swivel wheels in back. As you can see, that is not the case. So I'm going to be turning those around to make sure that the swivel wheels are in the front. It may work differently for you. It could also have something to do with the fact that my son is sitting on the swivel wheels. So weight may be a factor in how I was able to maneuver with the swivel wheels in the back. Overall, I'm really happy with the stroller wagon. At a price point around $200, it was perfect. I guess my only critiques would be that it doesn't come with a car seat adapter, which would be perfect since my daughter still does use her car seat and it is going to be an adjustment with putting all the pieces together versus just popping open a stroller. Other than that, it's definitely worth the purchase and it is perfect for our little family. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. See you next time. Bye!